Hi everyone, my name is Taylor. I'm the owner of Active Grow, and I'm here today with uh, Lee Kindle of Moto Pizza as well as Brian of Moto Pizza, and we're excited today to talk about uh, grow tents, mushrooms, lighting, and ventilation. So thanks Taylor, uh, we appreciate you and Active Grow LED and kind of sponsoring us in, in, in our project here. Um, talking about this, we're going to specifically address our mushrooms and, uh, and, and our, kind of our process here. Okay, so let's talk about the system of the Active Grow LED tent. Um, First off, the construction of this is pretty amazing. We've looked at a lot of tents. What yeah. do you think, B? Yeah, no, this is high quality uh, construction. It's very durable, durable zippers, a lot of long life uh, components in here. I like the innovation and thoughtfulness. Like, you know, just putting these things in, like these these access points, um, the, the construction of the zipper and the close up, like no light leaks, like just the idea of this flap going over right here to kind of contain where these where the zippers meet and that space in between there there's a lot of thoughtfulness going into this it's really light it's very sturdy which is surprising to me about 45 pounds i believe it holds per shelf so that's a really solid weight that you're putting on there i can put up to three boxes on each shelf which is really good and then um let's open it up and take a look and see what we're looking at here. right on So like Brian was talking about earlier, this reflective surface is so solid and the, the, how helpful that is in the reflection of light really helps you with that intensity because when you're using these things, it's all about light and the, 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 the yeah. maximizing your light to the highest possibility is what you're shooting for. Right. Um, the amount of, uh, you know, the quality of using a white uh, reflective versus using, say, a, a Mylar is that uh, it provides a better diffusion of light across uh, across the entire surface so you don't get uh, hot spots um, where like mylar might cup and it will focus light in one one certain area now you know i do want to mention something for all you rookies out there and beginners it sounds like we're throwing a lot at you but it's not this is actually a really simple system you can come into this not knowing anything and basically follow the instructions or look up at YouTube and you could do exactly what we're doing in a day. I mean, it does not take a lot of education. It does not take a lot of understanding. It really just takes the passion to want to do it. So remember that if you're a little bit afraid of it, don't be. Just jump in and do it. You can do it on a small scale, Active Grow LED. They have smaller tents available too. Um, there, there's a lot of things that you can do to start this out without high cost or without any cost or you know just start that's what's really important so going back to this don't be afraid of how big and how much we're throwing at you it is really simple so um to access everything uh first off these flaps are fantastic the zipper the construction of these zippers are solid so you're going to be able to open and close open and close open and close because you're going to be doing that a lot with your plants as you're as you're taking care of them and another thing that I really love is th this material here. A lot of times if it's too stiff, it's easy to break and crack. So I, I think they did a really good job on, on, on choosing the material too, because the thoughtfulness that put into it, that how much you're going to be using this, this flexibility will, will make it last a lot longer. So another thing that um, I really appreciate about this grow tent is that once you get it set up, you can, well, there's a couple things. One is all modular and it's in components. So you got tops, you got sides, you got a bathtub floor with no, uh, that, that's completely sealed. So there's no um, leaky points on the edges if you have any water that comes down or humidity builds up in here. Um, another thing that is really nice is that all these break down and it's entirely adjustable up and down. Also, your lights adjust up and down. So you have complete adjustability to get the light exactly where you need however you need it. So for example, if you're just, if you're doing mushrooms like I am, you're gonna need a lot of space or tomatoes or what, anything. But if you're doing like microgreens, you only need this much space. So you can like triple the amount of your production using something like this. And one of the details that Brian mentioned earlier, 
not all grow tents have this much detail to it. Like this bathtub bottom is fantastic because a lot of grow tents just cover over the top. So your exposure to the bottom for both contaminants, um, for temperature and for water coming out, you got a lot of protection going on there. So a lot of details going into this that I th think are pretty spectacular. Another thing that's really interesting with all these access points for your air, um, you can, as you see here, you can mount um, uh, fans inside for air circulation and for taking air out. You can also mount, mount uh, equipment on the outside so that it comes in and you can control how the flows with all these different access points. You control how the air flows. Also, you can have your sensors rigged up in here. So eventually you can close this up and you can maintain uh, attention with whatever you are growing, it's humidity, it's temperature, it's hydration, all that sort of stuff can be maintained uh, without you having to get in and out and introduce more contaminants potentially from the air outside. So as we throw all this stuff at you, I wanna go back to again, you can start this really simple, really a grow tent, a light, and your seed and plant and growth medium. That's all you need to get started. And um, I think we threw a lot at you. Uh, I think we can wrap this up and just say, get out and grow your food.